Anyone who has visited California's coast knows it is beautiful and rich in both its landscape and its life. In 1999, recognizing that our oceans were becoming vulnerable to human influences at a global scale, California passed the Marine Life Protection Act. The MLPA created a network of marine protected areas along the coast of California as a way to protect California's marine resources for future generations. While many saw the MLPA as a positive thing, California tribes and tribal communities took serious issue with the process and its outcomes. Because of the closures and restrictions around some marine protected areas, tribes felt that their sovereign rights to harvest, manage, and access coastal resources were being slighted. This in turn kept them from continuing their cultural and traditional practices. We think it's an infringement of tribal rights and our violation for the freedom to express our religion through the gathering of ocean and, and fresh water. However, through a collaborative process with the state and tribes, tribal activities in marine protected areas have been allowed to continue uninterrupted, while at the same time honoring the intent of the MLPA. What resulted from this process was truly novel. For the first time in the history of the U.S., a state has formally codified traditional non-commercial tribal uses into the regulations. And 22 federally recognized tribes have those rights preserved and protected forever. In 2011, Governor Jerry Brown issued Executive Order B-1011, which encouraged every state agency and department subject to executive control to develop a communication and consultation policy with California Native American tribes. Shortly after, the California Natural Resources Agency developed a tribal consultation policy. The Ocean Protection Council is taking a lead role in facilitating conversations with tribes and agencies. As a policy body within the Natural Resources Agency, the OPC adheres to the policies, purposes, and goals that are put forward in the agency's consultation policy. The OPC is exploring and developing new ways to communicate more effectively with tribes. This includes conducting workshops to discuss and work through coastal and ocean matters that are important to tribes. The OPC is also coordinating with the West Coast Governors Alliance on Ocean Health to work with California tribes in shaping coastal and ocean policies that affect the entire West Coast. It's also coordinating with its federal partners to include tribes in the development and execution of the National Ocean Policy Implementation Plan. Working together with tribes to create ocean policy is important so that tribes can continue to steward our coasts and oceans just as they have for centuries before, and so people from all walks of life can enjoy the benefits. <laughs>